What's what's going on guys? Mr. Vale here. Watch to the end. Correct Ledger Nano S link in the description. Patreon in the description. Twitter in the, in the description. Silent Faraday bag link in the description. Use code King Vale for the silent Faraday bag link. Candeli link for calls, half hour calls with Vale. Serious people only. PayPal will be at the checkout. Let's get right into it. Thousand likes, thousand comments. Now watch this. Singapore is teaming up with Korea and Italy for for central bank digital currency operating models. Now watch this. Watch this. Ready? Ready? There's also programmable money, right? Which includes both necessary programming and the store of value unlike programmable programmable payments. The white paper states programmable money has the advantage of being self-contained and having conditional logic transferable on a peer-to-peer -peer basis between parties. With central banks, commercial banks, and payment service providers globally exploring different CBDCs, tokenized bank liabilities, and stablecoin designs. PBM would also allow for usage by both public and private sectors. Though the paper notes that constraints should be set by policymakers on use cases, as well as who can issue and distribute the digital currencies. Notice how they said as well in, in the white paper, right? In the CBDC operating models, <clears throat> as well as who can issue and distribute the digital currencies. So who you think is gonna issue and distribute the, the, distribute the digital currencies? It's gonna be the International Monetary Fund. And this is coming from the CBDC Operating Models Report with Singapore teaming up with, with, teaming up with Korea, Italy, Korea, Italy, and um, uh, the IMF, the IMF. See how it all comes together? Right? So, let me read this again. Would also allow for usage by both public and private sectors, though the paper notes that, that constraints should be set by policymakers on use cases, as well as who, who can issue and distribute the digital currencies. That's going to be the International Monetary Fund. That's why in this report, Singapore teaming up with Italy and Korea, they're talking to who? Singapore, Italy, and Korea for the CBDC operating models. They're talking to the International Monetary Fund. Due to the amount of research going into central bank digital currencies internationally, the banks behind the banks behind the white paper for the CBDC operating models believe believe that a common framework is needed to ensure interoperability common framework level playing field to ensure interoperability on the current financial infrastructures and allow the framework to interact with different types of digital money in other words singapore italy Right? And, and and Korea meeting up together with the IMF because basically the IMF is gonna tell them who's gonna be running, who's gonna be uh, 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 issuing this. The IMF is gonna be the one in control issuing this and they're gonna tell them that it's gonna be a SDR, obviously, with, with the CBDCs, that, that their CBDCs is gonna be transferable through, 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 through XRP, the CBDC solution. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out.